Hey, everybody. I'm Kathy Antunes. I host The Detail on WSLR. Uh, the show's about local politics. And there's a really important issue coming up before the city commission tomorrow night, Monday, uh, May 3rd, where the county has asked the city to give them to convey 14 acres of land at Bobby Jones Golf Course. And the county says that they're going to be building a park for the city, which sounds fabulous, right? But there's an important history here to take a look at, and we need city commissioners, obviously, to protect us. We pay twice. City taxpayers pay taxes to the city and to the county, and we need to get what we're paying for. So with that in mind, I just wanted to share some history about what's gone on with these kind of issues with the city and the county, and then bring it back to what would be a good outcome tomorrow night for the city commission to do with the county wanting 14 acres of city parkland. So I'm gonna share my screen with you. Let's see if I could do this and put it on full screen. Okay, because see to me, the city in the past, it's been like the city's Charlie Brown and the county is Lucy and the county keeps taking the football away and the football is whatever they promised. So going back a few years, um, the city and the county had a 30 year agreement to fund a CRA, a community redevelopment association. And initially it was to fund downtown and they paid a certain amount from property taxes every single year um, to reinvest in an area. And that's back when downtown was blighted about 30 years ago. Uh, but then it was successful with downtown and the city and the county shifted it to Newtown. But the issue was uh, at the end of that CRA, that agreement, the county had only given us 29 payments out of the tax money, not 30, it was a 30 year agreement. And, you know, there just wasn't a sense of camaraderie and figuring this thing out. Actually, the county was pretty nasty to the city, saying they shouldn't even be asking for the money. But the bottom line is city taxpayers should have realized a reinvestment in the city of $4.7 million, the last payment of the CRA, and that never happened. Second issue, as I said in the beginning, city taxpayers pay taxes twice. We pay to the city and we pay to the county. And back in the 70s, the cities of Longboat Key and Sarasota, I believe it was Venice too, sued the county over dual taxation. Basically they're saying, we're not getting our money's worth you know, we when we call the police um, in 911, the sheriff comes for the county and, and we pay for that, but our police come to see us, right? Uh, the city police. So we need to realize some value for the money that we're giving to you because we pay the same as county taxpayers, but, but where are you reinvesting? And the Supreme Court of the state of Florida said, yeah, you know, they're right. The municipalities are right. The county needs to be putting more money into the cities. And the agreement they came up with was that this, the county was gonna put money into our parks, right? Um, but what wound up happening, it was a, another long-term like 30 year agreement in 2010, it sunsetted. And what city parks, what was happening is the county under Jim Lay at that time, the county administrator backed off of maintaining city parks. Lido Pavilion's a good example, what we got back was not well maintained because they basically said, "Ah, eh, we're on the back nine of this agreement. We're not gonna, we're not gonna maintain it." And then they wouldn't renew. Like in the spirit of teamwork, you know, we are, we are still dual text. Aren't you gonna renew the agreement? They chose not to. Robert Taylor Center. This is a, a recreational center in the city where initially the county for five years was putting money into it, about three hundred and twenty grand a year. And over 60% of the people who use, it's about 60%, the survey was done a few years ago, uh, who use Robert Taylor Center are actually not living in the city. And that was a, called a regional uh, recreational facility. So there was discussion, hey, you know, the county, would you kick in? And they were, yeah, okay, we will. But then they took away the football 
after five years, they said, no, you're on your own. We're not going to do it. And they redefined what a regional park is. They made it what Benderson Park is. Oh, no, it's got to bring people from all over, you know, the, the state and the nation, uh, not just not just outside of the city. So they moved the goalposts. And again, Lucy grabbing away the football county from the city, taking money away. And there have been other instances with land agreements where, uh, for instance, the city has agreed to convey, at no charge, a piece of property on Ringling or Main Street, one of those, for the police department when they're about to build a new facility. But the county made noise a few years ago and they were threatening to leave the city, which by the way, they do every couple of years or five years. Um, and they said, oh no, we want that land now. Well, the agreement was you can have it when you're ready to build and you've got a plan. And, and so there's a way that the city has been um, strong-armed by the county for quite some time. And it's like, you know, Lucy taking away the football from Charlie Brown. And I think a lot of us who've watched the city over the years are kind of tired of seeing the city be Charlie Brown. We don't need to be Charlie Brown. We actually are a donor municipality. What does that mean? We put more money into the county than we take out. The county needs the city taxpayer. We pay twice. So here's the deal. If the county is serious, and it would be a great thing about partnering with the city to actually invest in parks, terrific. But the city needs to take a page out of, I'd say, Ronald Reagan's playbook, trust but verify. If this is a good offer, if it's a good faith offer, then the county should be fine with the city owning the land. The city can rezone it for park use, but don't give it away. Keep it and say to the county, sure, you can build a park here. We're going to own the land. You can improve it. We do that for the Orioles. Why not do it for us? And if we own the land, uh, then we can be sure that the city is actually going to get a park. If there's another agenda, and the county's really just saying that, and then they're gonna be like Lucy, taking away the football, changing their mind, and building something there, using it for development. That won't be able to happen if the city owns the land. We will always have a say about what happens there. So I know there's gonna be people who say, kumbaya, we need to get along. But those same people, city commissioners, who tout themselves as fiscal conservatives, who say that they're looking out for the city taxpayer. This is where the rubber meets the road. You don't give away assets, keep them and let the county come on board and invest in good faith. We'll get a park and we'll still own our land. It's tomorrow, last item on the agenda, the city commission meeting. If you care about this issue and you want your commissioners to know what you think, you can write to them at commissioners at sarasotafl.gov and be sure to watch. It's important. 14 acres is a lot. Have a great Sunday.